This is the Hewitt pontoon leg assembly video. Lay out all parts and accessories that came along with your pontoon legs. Locate the leg with the stiffener tube inside of it for transport and cut it free. Measure 92 inches from the front of the pontoon. If there's not a cross member at 92 inches, choose the one closest to the rear of the boat. In this example, we are installing wide-based legs. Using a square, if you're installing wide-based legs, measure in 14 inches from the edge of the pontoon. If you're installing straight legs, measure in 9 and a quarter inches from the edge of the pontoon. If your pontoon has wide base legs and lifting strikes, it may be necessary to move the legs in or contact Hewitt for more information. Next, go to the rear of the boat and locate the furthest rear complete cross member. Remove any bolts that get in the way of the pontoon legs, then reinstall after the legs have been mounted. Again, starting from the back of the boat, measure 14 inches from the edge of the pontoon. Mark the next 92 inches of cross members. Look for the sticker on each leg as to where it is to be placed. Next, slide the leg into place. For mounting, the leg should be flush up against the bottom of the frame. Standing at the back of the boat, locate the pivot point and make sure that it's within 3 inches of the last continuous cross member. Locate the 3 8 inch bolts that are used to hold the legs on. Drill a hole through both the legs and through the cross member. Install the bolts as you drill the holes. Bolt placement should be similar to what you're seeing in this video. By installing each bolt as you go, it will keep everything aligned for that leg on your pontoon. Attach the legs using the provided nuts and bolts. If your pontoon utilizes a performance skin underneath it, there are two options for attaching the legs. You can choose to use a hole saw at each bolt location, or you can fish the nuts through from the end of each cross member. Now that the legs have been permanently attached to your pontoon, it's now time to add the stiffener bar. Locate the hardware and attach the solid stiffener bar to the back of the front pontoon legs. This is what it'll look like when it's installed properly. Next, unthread the back stiffener bar and mark the location to drill. Before drilling, make sure that the gas tank and all wiring is clear of the hole. Then use a 1 inch bit to widen the hole. Insert the U-bolt around the 1 inch rod. Make sure that at least a half an inch protrudes through the inside. Remove the pontoon skirting, giving you access to the pontoon floor. Place the hydraulic pump and manifold assembly under one of the seat cushions. Next, drill two 3-inch holes in the bottom of the floorboards. These holes will be used to pull all the cables through. Use lag bolts to permanently attach the pump into the box. Locate the pendant cable and feed it through the bottom hole. Locate the four leg position sensor wires and feed those through the bottom hole. Unclip the hydraulic hoses and straighten all the lines. Run all the lines back to the two drilled holes in the floorboards. Run the hoses on either the inside or the outside of the pontoon. Next, zip tie the hoses to the hydraulic cylinder. Now that the hoses are in place, attach them to the frame using zip ties. Run the pendant cable back to the captain's seat. Run the four leg position sensor wires back to each one of the individual legs. Attach each leg sensor wire. 
run the eight hydraulic cables back up through the drilled holes. Next, insert the battery cables through the floor. Then run the battery cables under the pontoon and back to the two drilled holes. Attach the hydraulic pump to the battery cables. Attach the jumper from the manifold to the pump. Make sure that it clicks. Zip tie the leg to the leg frame. Each hydraulic line is color coded. Match the colors and tighten each one down. The stickers on the hoses match the stamp on the manifold. Attach them. Next, assemble the ram mount. Use the four included nuts and bolts to attach the head to the ram mount. Next, mount the base plate by pre-drilling all four holes. Use the provided screws to attach the base plate directly to the boat. Run the pendant cable up through the bottom hole and attach to the back of the head unit. Simply push the cable on and then screw it tight. Insert the bottom first and then clip the top into the housing. Now reassemble the ram mount and lock it down. Fill the oil reservoir with approximately one gallon of H2 oil. Attach the fuse to the positive end of the battery cable. Tighten down the battery cable connection using two wrenches. Then place it over the top of the terminal and tighten it down. At this point, attach the negative connection also. Flip the switch on for the system and check to make sure there's a blinking green light. Check that the oil level is up to the angle on the reservoir. Hold the leg up against the body of the boat and cut the zip tie. Lower the leg that you've just cut loose. Continue running the pump until the leg is fully extended. If you don't have your boat on jacks, extend the leg till it touches the ground. Throughout this process, make sure that the oil level never dips below 2 inches. Once the leg is extended, add more oil, bringing the oil level up to the angle in the tank. Repeat this process for all four legs, making sure to fill the tank after each leg has been extended. Now that all four legs are fully extended, we're ready to calibrate the controller. Press the OK button, then press and hold the Extend Calibration button till it lights up. Now all the legs should be displaying correctly. Press the OK button to return to the home screen. Now retract the legs completely up and underneath the boat. Press the OK button. Then press the Stow Calibration button till it lights up yellow. Now the calibration has been completed and should display correctly. Each button controls a corresponding leg. The functions at the bottom of the display are controlled by the four-way button. During winter storage, it's normal for the legs to drop down. Allow 10 to 15 minutes between cycles. Run the system up and down to help bleed the air from the hydraulic system. Once installed, the wireless key fob will raise and lower the legs simultaneously. This completes the installation for the Hewitt pontoon legs.